Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Too Many Hobbies podcast. I am your host, Brian Ellathorpe. In today's episode, I want to talk about pro staffing opportunities and what pro staffing actually means. We'll talk about some of the opportunities that I've had within the fishing and hunting industry as a pro staff member. So let's get into the episode. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Too Many Hobbies podcast. I appreciate all the support. Be sure to check out the YouTube channel, Too Many Hobbies, and check out Brian Althorp Media on Instagram, Too Many Hobbies Show on TikTok and Instagram. I've been posting a lot of stuff to all of those, so be sure to go there and find some of that content. So today's episode, I wanted to get into a little bit of what it actually means to be a pro staff member when you sign on with a company, and just a little bit of the background of what I've done as far as pro staffing and field staffing for companies, how I feel it's a little bit different for me than a normal person that gets gets an offer, but so let's jump into that. So... As a pro staff member, I think it's important to remember that you're not professional staff. It is a promotional staff position. So when a company brings you on, they offer you something in return for free advertisement. So whether it's a discount or it's product, they're offering something to you in some sort of payment for you to be posting and tagging and wearing their equipment, apparel, whatever the case may be. And I think that a lot of people get that little confused when they start looking at the opportunities that a company is going to offer them as far as being a pro staff or a field staff member of their company. So there's a lot of companies that you know, as they're just starting out, they will offer either the field staff or pro staff position. And the difference between the two is that a field staff member is normally signed on as like a base position, I guess you could call it. So if they offer two different types of discounts as a field staff member, you'll get the lower of the two discounts where then you have to work your way up to being a pro staff member and that's that's based on what content you're posting what you're doing to promote the brand that has either given you a discount or product in order to promote their company so as a field staff member you're basically coming in and You know, most of the field staff and pro staff positions, if they're offering you a discount, you have to purchase the product, but it's at a anywhere from a 10 to 40% discount. It just depends on the company, how big the company is, you know, if they can handle giving you a 30% discount on their products, then it's normally a bigger company will do something like that. Then... You're purchasing the product from them and a smaller company is going to offer these field staff positions to people, basically assuming that the person that takes the position is, uh, you know, very excited about just being part of a company and they're willing to buy whatever you have on your website. So if somebody offers, you know, Joe a position to for a apparel company and they offer him 10% or 15% discount he's probably really excited to put that in his in his bio on his profile that he's part of that company and he'll purchase the products and 
as a smaller company, it's basically a guaranteed product that they're going to sell. As long as they bring that person on and tell them you have to post X amount of times to receive the discount and all that stuff. And for a lot of people, it's a really cool thing. I know when I first started getting into like the, I guess you could call it the business side of, you know, hunting and fishing. The first company that I worked with was called 9812 Outdoors, and it was a small company out of Texas. And basically what they did is you signed on as a field staff member, and then you purchased what they called a field staff package. And so it was like three t-shirts and something else, and it was only like $30, where the t-shirts on their website were 20 I think, a piece. So it was a good, good discount. But it's for a company that I had never heard of and was very, very unknown in the industry. But for me, when I first was starting out, I thought it was pretty cool that I had this equipment or these, you know, this apparel from a company in the industry. So I, being a photographer, I took a lot of really good pictures and moved my way up to a pro staff where then I was sent apparel and shown as pro staff on their website and then you know that kind of snowballs once you have one or two of those field or pro staff positions when you apply for other companies it gives you a better chance of getting on that team or part of that company or part of the brand whatever whatever it is and I think the second company that I started working with which was actually a bigger company was Hero Outdoors And there might be some people that are listening who are going to laugh because they were also part of it and they know what happened with that company. Um, At the time, that was the company that Dr. Duck was, that was the decoys that they were sponsored by and they were receiving to make their shows. And I think there was another... There was a show on Sportsman's Channel, Honey Break Outdoors, I believe, was also using their decoys, and I liked their decoys. They had some really cool positions on their mallards, and I created some GoPro and uh, other, uh, you know, regular DSLR camera videos, and they posted a few of those, and I, that company ended up going down the down the shitter when they started doing goose decoys a bunch of people ordered them and then they just never got I don't know if it was like something to do with the shipping or what happened with it but a bunch of people didn't get their decoys and the company ended up filing bankruptcy and then like months down the road somebody was selling like Uh, I think it was shipping containers full of these goose decoys. And everybody realized like, oh yeah, we pretty much just got played. I didn't buy any of the goose decoys, but I know a lot of people that had pre-ordered the decoys and then didn't get them. And, you know, that was just a big thing. But so I was doing, I was making some content for them and they were posting it on their Instagram, but it was never enough to get into like the pro staff portion of Hero Outdoors. But it was the same thing where if you, we're field staff. I think we got like 20% or something like that off. And so I had like a couple shirts, hats, stuff like that. And it's just free promotion for them when you're posting pictures on Instagram and stuff like that. You know, I, you, you never know how much how much uh, business that's going to produce for them. But if they've got 100 people that they're giving a discount to they're they're promoting it for free to if you've got a thousand people on that are following you on Instagram it's a hundred thousand people that they're reaching just by offering a discount so then as I started to get a little bit smarter in the business and I got better with you know photography and making videos and stuff like that I think there was a couple other companies that I was part of their either field or pro staff positions. But now, 
you know, this was four or five years ago when that stuff first started. And it was cool to get that experience because you do kind of see how other companies work as far as like what they offer their staffers. And there's a, I mean, there's a huge thing on Facebook and pretty much every social media that they're going to make fun of the pro staffers and stuff like that. And I get it because there are a lot of people that, you know, get that, that title. They put in all of their bios and their profiles and all that stuff. And then they think that they're a professional hunter and they think that they're better than anybody else that does, you know, that hunts or is a, goes fishing, you know, whatever it is. And it pretty much just gives everybody else that's doing it to work with a company to hopefully pursue a higher position or even make it a career. It gives them a terrible name. And in the last few years, for me at least, as it's it's it seems like it's a little bit different if you have a skill as far as promotion. So if you have a YouTube channel or you have a camera and you you know how to use it and you're posting quality content, those companies that you're working with are going to post your content more and they're going to get your name out there. And if you can find companies that take value in quality content and are willing to help you by promoting you as you're promoting them and aren't requiring you to purchase their products or, uh, you know, post a X amount of times a day, you know, it's, it's more of a give and take kind of company. You're going to be more willing to post that stuff and they're going to be more willing to offer you, you know, products or whatever it is to promote, but not give, not have that burden of, well, I have to purchase the products that I'm also promoting for free. So what I've done the last few years is I, I started working with a company called Deeks Waterfall and there might be a couple of the guys that listen to this and they feel the exact same way that I do, but Deeks Waterfall isn't based on, you know, promoting the company itself we more or less are given opportunities to promote other companies. You could almost call it like a media house because at this point we've really only got people who are confident with a camera that are taking quality photos of them hunting, fishing, and the brands that are offering us a partnership we're promoting their their brand. So through Deeks, I I mean I'm I've got the hookup with Tangle Free, Lucky Duck. A lot of those guys are doing stuff with Migra Ammunitions, um, Rite. Who else? Um, Gator Waiters, which I'll get to in a second. Um, just a lot of like quality companies, I hunt or, uh, on X, you know, like it's, it's just, it's more of like a community and, you know, Travis who's, who owns Deeks Waterfall is, I mean, he's, he's got pictures on with that he's taking for tons of companies. I mean, his pictures are being shared everywhere and I think that he finds value in that more so than selling products, which there are products that they sell, but that's not the main focus of like what all of us are talking about or, you know, what the whole mission is behind that company is it's, it's, it's partnering with people, with companies that they believe in and offering that to the other pro staffers and, helping build relationships more so than just trying to get, you know, quick sales from people that they give the pro staff title to. And I think that that is 
kind of the for me at least that's the the part that I really enjoy about it is I don't feel pressured to purchase products from them it's it's helped build more relationships in the hunting community than for me than it has been about selling products so I can't say enough good things about Travis and Deeks Waterfall and the guys that I've you know met through the internet with that company and helped get you know build relationships with other companies that are helping me you know it's just been such a such a positive experience and I think that that's something that people who are against pro staffing don't see that side of it they see the you know people only wearing the same t-shirt every time that they go fishing and you know saying that you know x company is the only fishing apparel company that you should wear but then they might get one picture shared a year on whatever that company's Instagram is. And it's just, it's, it's the discount thing just kind of gets to people's heads where I don't, I don't pursue the companies that are offering me a discount anymore. I pursue companies that are looking to build a relationship with me because I can offer them high quality content for them to use as promotional tools but I'm not forced to purchase the products that they want me to use as, you know, the centerpiece of my content creation. It's companies that are sending me products or giving me products in return for me giving them quality content. So I like that aspect of it a lot more. And the companies that I'm currently still with that's the main focus is that I'm getting I'm not in it for free products but the free products do make it easier for me to create content because I don't feel pressured to also purchase the products and feel like I'm not really getting anything out of it it's more of a you know these companies that I'm making that I'm that I have relationships with now it's definitely a give and take and I feel like both sides are happy at the end of the day because for them sending sending me or giving me you know a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff if I was to charge them by the hour to take photos I mean (laughs) that's only a couple hours worth of me taking photos where if they're sending me pictures or sending me products and saying when I'm hunting or fishing snap some pictures for them to use I'm way more adamant on doing that and not being sucked into like a a monetary contract with them so the the other the companies that I'm working with currently are also real geese decoys and if anybody doesn't know what they are it is a silhouette decoy company out of Northwest Ohio where I am. They're only about 40 minutes away from me. But Craig and I have worked on a few things where they've used a few of my pictures for ads on Facebook. Um, we'll probably be creating some some videos with their new line of silhouette decoys that are coming out. And... You know, in that exchange, it was, I got decoys, they get content. And there was no money exchanged. And now when I go goose hunting, I take pictures of their decoys out in the field. And I send them over to them. And they can either choose to use them or choose not to use them. It's up to them. If they find something that's worth, that has the quality that they're looking for, that they can use to post on, you know, Instagram or Facebook, they seem to use Instagram and Facebook the most. I don't think that they have Twitter or anything like that. But that was another good relationship that I built with Real Geese Decoys. And hopefully for the next few years, we can keep 
you know, keep that relationship thriving. And then the newest one with through Deke's Waterfowl and a couple of the guys that are there also doing the same thing that I'm doing is Gator Waiters offered us, you know, an ambassadorship for their company to also provide content to them so that they can use it right now it's for fishing so gator waders fish we've been doing some some products some product shoots for them um we're doing them independently just because we're not located in the same portion of the country but we all talk to each other back and forth about it and so what what we were able to do is the ceo or vp VP, David's the VP, um, reached out to us and offered to send us products so that we would use those to, um, that we would use them while we're out fishing and then take pictures so that they would have content to post on their Instagram of these products that they came out with. So it was, you know, waiter or uh, bibs and some fishing shirts And so when I go fishing, I'll wear one of those pieces that they sent me and snap photos or I'll give give them to my friends to wear so I can snap some photos of them wearing them while they're fishing. And I think that that's going to be a really healthy relationship because they find they they see the quality content that comes out of it and they see the value in the content and know that, you know, by sending us the products that it, it makes everybody happy. We don't feel that we have to purchase these products and, you know, then we don't hinder the relationship that way where some of these smaller companies that don't have a marketing budget, but are willing to give up a couple dollars at the, you know, of overhead on their products just so that they get extra um, marketing out of it, you know, these bigger companies have marketing budgets where they can take the full price out of their marketing budget to offer to people like us and know that we will provide quality content at the end of the day. And, you know, then everybody's happy. I think that that's going to be a great relationship. They've already been sharing a lot of the stuff that me and the guys have been sending them. That's been really cool to work with them. Um, I think it would be awesome to have somebody from Gator Waiters on the podcast one of these days. And, you know, just talk about what they do there. Because they have three different lines of waiters. Um, and, you know, three three different lines of outdoor space that they're in. So they're in hunting, fishing, and off-road. And I think that there's a lot of um, topics that can be covered there. I think that that's, I think it's a great company. It's been awesome working with them. As far as fishing goes, Gator Waders is really the only one that I've been working with still. I was, um, involved with Six Gill Fishing, but that's just a, it's a big company, but it's hard to see what their end game is as far as having pro staffers, because we do, we are offered, discounts for that and the products that i've purchased from them have been amazing that the the rods and reels that i've purchased from i have no complaints with um but a lot of the content that i've tagged them in or tried to provide to them hasn't been shared so i i don't know what they're looking for as far as that goes but i mean i've i've worked with a lot of these different steps field and pro staff positions um i think that that kind of gives a a really good background on like the truth of pro staffing at least from my perspective um you know as a photographer videographer you also feel that these companies that you're going to work with that you can provide them some really high quality content as far as or instead of using your cell phone take pictures which isn't terrible but it's just not the same as having high end equipment to um, deliver qual- or deliver content with. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed that kind of podcast. I mean, I, I thought that this was a good episode kind of outlining pro staffing and maybe give some insight to people who are either looking to do some sort of pro staffing or field staffing for companies or have done it and had a bad experience. Maybe you're listening to this saying, well, maybe I just got to find the right company or maybe it's not for you at all and you just had a different view on it based on stuff that you'd seen online. But thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to check out the YouTube channel, Too Many Hobbies. Uh, Check out Instagram, Brian Hellthorpe Media, Too Many Hobbies Show. Um, Trying to post more on TikTok at Too Many Hobbies Show, and then Brian Hellthorpe Media on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll catch you on the next episode.